welcome back once more again. I believe God bless you. Today we'll be talking on a very important topic. We're going to be sharing God's word together. And I believe that God is going to bring an encounter in your life in the name of Jesus. So I know for sure that heaven wants to bless us. But anytime God wants to bless you, He makes sure that He gives you, He sends you a man. And men are vessel through which God passes through to bring an encounter. In the name of Jesus Christ. Today, I want us to look at a scripture from John chapter 10 from verse 1 to 5. John 10 from verse 1 to 10. The Bible says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that entered not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbed up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. But he that entered in by the door is the sheep, is the shepherd at the sheep. To him the porter opens, and the sheep hears his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. And when he put them for his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep followeth him, for they know his voice, and a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. But then, for they know not the voice of strangers. Now, this morning, I'll be talking about what I tell you the dangers of the voice of a stranger. The dangers of the voice of stranger. A few minutes, we're going to be dealing with it. And there's going to be an encounter for transformation. Thank you, Father. Lord, we bless your holy name this morning. I pray for your children that are about to follow this program. I pray for their family. I pray for this encounter. Lord, I pray, may you speak to them. I hide myself behind the cross of Calvary and I ask you to come and take leadership. I pray, oh God, that your people hearing your word this morning, as they connect by faith, there will be an encounter in their life. And nothing, oh God, shall be enemies be of hindrance to them anymore. I pray that through this program, let it be a transformation. Let there be a visitation that will bring a commotion in the realm of the Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Like I said, my name is Prophet Dominion Gilbert, the senior pastor of Dominion City, and I bring you a word from God. I'm a man of God, and I know for sure that great encounter is about to come your way in the name of Jesus. Now, I am talking about what I titled the dangers of the voice of a stranger. From the scripture we read, the Bible is talking to talk about a shepherd and a sheep. And he tried to make us to understand that a sheep will not hearken to the voice of a stranger. And they understand the voice of their master. And it's very important you must understand the voice you listen to has a past the power to transform and to transmogify your destiny. Your life is transformed by the voice you hear and by the people you meet in destiny. So the people you meet in life matters for your destiny. The voices you listen to matter for your destiny. So I want to say this to you, child of God. We are going to bring a voice or a word from God. And as you begin to connect yourself to this teaching, you must understand that people around you are messengers. People around your life are messengers. They have been sent either by God or by the devil. So you must understand who you listen to can shape your life or can destroy your destiny. And I believe that as God brings the world this morning, and as God gives you the heart to connect to this world, there will be transformation in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, the voice you listen to will determine your commitment. People become more committed by who speaks to them. People become more committed by the kind of voice they hearken onto. Hallelujah. A lot of people are not committed no matter what we teach because the voice they listen to. There are a lot of people who listen to people that corrupt their spirit. It is important to understand you must discipline yourself to make up your mind to which voice do you listen to. Avoid voices that will distract you from getting to your place of destination. Avoid people that will be able to hinder you. You can't be saving God and you're around someone who is against God. You can't be going to church and you're around someone who is against the church. Even those in the world, they are aware. When somebody is a clubist or somebody who likes to go to bars or nightclubs, he doesn't like people who tell him about church. Except they are ready to repent. Because they know you are a contradiction to what they believe and what it stands for. And if you are a Christian, you must understand, you can be close or clue to someone who is a contradiction to, the, to your belief system. What empowers your belief? What empowers your belief? 
Today there are people who have been condemned to the world suffering because certain negative words were spoken against them. But I came to speak to you as a prophet this morning. Every negative word against your life, negative word against your career, as you engage these teachings, I command and I overcome it in the name of Jesus. Every power that are bringing barriers, power that are bringing limitation, by the virtue of this encounter, I see God bringing a shift in the name of Jesus Christ. You are you are your results are affected by the voice you listen or you hear your results are affected by the voices you listen or you hear who you speaks to you matters in life hallelujah he said they overcome me by the blood of the lamb in the book of revelation 12 verse 11 he said they overcome me by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimonies the bible says the power of life and death lies in our tongue what we speak can either give life to someone or can condemn a destiny of someone. Your destiny is determined by your, your destination is determined by the kind of word you speak you spoken to. So you discipline yourself. Who speaks to you matter? Until a man is under a particular voice that has been ordained to lead him, he cannot lead his generation. Which voice is ordained to lead you? Until Moses arise, the Israelites will continue to be in captivity. Yet they are praying. Yet God is listening to you. If God listens to you very well and loves you very well, He will send a voice for you. The Bible says Moses, the Israelites were in captivity for several years, 430 years. But they were not delivered because Moses had never arise. Until a voice came. And then God now appeared and said, I have heard the cry of my people, and I God have come out to send them. Moses, go and tell Pharaoh. So if God wants to send you, he sends a voice. If God wants to save you, he sends the voice. So people around your life are important. When Satan wants to destroy you, he sends a voice. So in other words, you must overcome from every negative voice. You must be sensitive in the spirit. Who is speaking after your life? People are shaped by the people that are in their life. There are many ladies today regretting because of certain men they met in their life. They are attached to their life. The man spoke to them and they attached them and they regret. There are certain men regretting because of certain ladies that are attached to their life. But there are others who are celebrating because of certain men or certain ladies that came to your life. Why? Because the voice is substantial, it's having value. God does not give us a woman, a, a woman seed of a child and fill another woman with the breast milk. No. It is not possible and it can never be possible. God does not give a woman a seed of a child and give breast milk to another woman. The woman that carries the child carries the breast milk. So it is important you have this understanding. The woman that carries the child carries the, the breast milk. Are you following what I'm saying? A child has comes, a child that comes to a mama and suck and cross to the roadside and go to another neighbor to suck breast milk, you will not know what to kill that child. So you must understand that focus is what brings expansion in your destiny. Negative voices. Which voice are you listening to? But I came to speak to you as a prophet. Every negative voice around your life, negative voice around your destiny, I have come in the name of Jesus Christ. There are many of you who are suffering because someone took your name to a native doctor and spoke a negative word. And yes, you don't know. That's why God sent you as a prophet. By a prophet, each and will be removed from bondage. Prophets are sent for preservation. And I came this morning to preserve you. You are wondering why you are laboring helter skelter, walking the elephant, eating the ant, putting in effort in life, and yet nothing is working. It's because there is an evil voice speaking against you. And if you must understand to come out of that evil voice, then you must be connected to a voice from God. Hallelujah. Who is speaking to you matters a lot. But God has sent me this morning as a voice into your life. I pray for you that every power of stagnation, power of limitation, holding you from rising, today I begin to overcome right now in the name of Jesus. I speak the light of God in your life. I speak God's visitation. I speak supernatural open heaven. Barako zelege baradash. And the cause a perica coto, embelica carash a baladash, medus a baraka cobre. I come against every principalities. I come against every powers of darkness that are holding you from rising. 
I come against every closed doors. I come against every hand of the devil blocking your blessings. I destroy demonic attacks. I destroy demonic manipulation. I come against every satanic device. And I ask, let the heavens be open over your life this moment. Let the heavens be open over your desk in this moment. In the name of Jesus. Hear me, someone hear my voice. In this morning, blessings. I speak blessings. As you are going out as your place of work, whatever I've been limited to you before, I speak as a voice in your life right now. There is about to be a shift in the name of Jesus. A shift in destiny. Yeshua Hamashiach, Lion of Judah, Agone Chamber. God, when He wants to change your life, He brings an encounter. And there is an the encounter that makes men to count. Encounter is what brings a transformation in your life. Lekos Aparadaza, Zekadu Brigada. Oh, I'm hearing my spirit. God is telling me someone that is hearing my voice. Said, this morning we bring a turn around. He said, you are being irrigated because things are not be working. He said, but as you are stepping out, things will begin to work. As you are stepping out, there will be an encounter that will bring a shift in your life. Oh yes, I hear that in my spirit. I hear that in my spirit. And that person looked like you. In the name of Jesus Christ. So, you understand the voices you listen to matter. When many people are advising you, it can distract you. Many people feel having many people that will supersede or to guide them is a sign of wisdom. No. And mature people does not move around everybody. You lose people that carry what they need. Because when you are connected to the right people, you attract your blessings. When you are connected to the people that carry your destiny, you are sure to be great. You are sure to have an encounter. And there is someone hearing my voice. Whether the devil like it or not, there will be an encounter this moment. There will be an encounter this moment. Bara Ezoka Baradash. Kabro Chelabab. Let's look at 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 10. 1 Corinthians 14, verse 10. The Bible says, There are, it might be so, many kinds of voices in the world, and none of them is without significance. There are many kinds of voices in the world, but it said none of them are without significance. The voice you listen to matters. It has a signification in your life. It has a signal. Who speaks to you matters. The kind of places you go matters. Who directs your destiny matters. Hallelujah. Let's look at um, Genesis chapter 3 verse 8. It said, And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife had hid themselves from the presence of the Lord. God among the trees of the garden. This way, people say God always come at the cool of the day to visit them. But when they listen to the voice of the devil, the Bible says when they heard the voice of the God, they began to run. Many of you used to love to save God to go to church, but you began to listen to wrong voices. Now, even when you hear a pastor's voice, you are angry. When the preacher is with you, you are no longer comfortable because why? You are listening now to a wrong voice. Who is speaking to you? Who is that voice over your destiny? Who is that one that is speaking to your life? That voice that is standing against you from rising. I silence it in the name of Jesus. I silence it in the name of Jesus. And I command a shift in the realm of the spirit. I command a shift. So these guys, Adam and Eve, love hearing the voice of Jesus. But when they began to engage themselves in the wrong voices, that voice that they were blessing, they became boring. There are many of you, you don't like to hear a pastor anymore. Why? Because you have engaged yourself to wrong voices. A negative voice is speaking to you. Hallelujah. And when you begin to listen to negative voices, when you hear the voice that will bless you, it becomes a burden to you. Why? Because negative voices are speaking to you. I silence every voice of the enemy. In verse 10, the Bible says what? 
and he said i heard the voice in the garden and i was afraid because i was naked and i hid myself i was i heard your voice i was afraid why was he afraid because he gave heed to wrong voice so when the right voice appeared fear took over him hmm. when you spend time hearing people you should not hear when the people you should hear comes you will be afraid when you spend time hearing people you should hear and focusing on them when those you know here comes you will not give the a, a, you will not listen to them why because we are focusing on the voices who is speaking to you many of you have people you call advisors but they are wrong advisors many of you have people you call directors but they are wrong directors they are directing you to the wrong places god is the way maker until god becomes your part look at how they were living in the garden comfortably look at everything was at their display look at how god put everything at their pleasure but due to one wrong voice they missed the garden at the end of it the bible said god drove them away from the garden may god not die from the place of blessings if you connect to a wrong voice you will miss god's place if you read unto verse 17 the bible says and unto adam he said because Thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten to the tree, of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it, cause is the ground for thy sake. In sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life. Because he listened to the voice of the wife, and because the wife listened to the voice of the devil, whoever listens to the wrong voice and is close to you will soon attract, distract you. So, people who are close to you must be very careful. Which kind of voice do they listen to? Because it matters. You what I'm saying? It matters. There are people who have been destroyed because of wrong advice. There are people who have been destroyed because of wrong preachers. Then I pray for someone hearing my voice. Every negative voice of the enemy that is putting a limitation standing against your rising. I speak as a priest. I overcome it right now in the name of Jesus. Receive grace to overcome. Receive grace for victorious living. Receive grace for light. In the name of Jesus. Receive grace for victory in the name of Jesus Christ. I ask God light. We are going to take on this short break for just a few seconds. I will be back. Please make sure you invite someone, your friends, your loved and family members. Let them follow this program. I want to speak prophetically in your life. But invite someone to let them be part of this program. And there will be testimony. And when I'm done preaching, I'll be preaching, done in a few minutes. And there will be a display of scriptures. And you'll look at the scripture on your screen. You can call the numbers that are on your screen. Uh, display of numbers, sorry. And you call for prayers. If you don't have credit, you can write on WhatsApp. You can send an SMS. If you don't have credit, you can beep. I'll call you back, okay? All I'm here is to pray for you. And indeed, you will testify. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's take on this short break. Thank you very much. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless God to everyone this morning. Now, hear me. Encounters, like I said, makes men to count. Anytime God wants to bring a change in your life, it gives you, it gives you a visitation. It gives you what? A visitation. And I believe that God is sending me this morning to give you a visitation by himself. There's a woman saying that I've been going to a lot, but I believe that this morning is my morning. You will see God's hand in the name of Jesus. I believe that someone hear my voice as you are connected. There will be a shift after today. And every closed doors will be open. Every limitation will be cancelled. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says God is the way maker. He says the way, the truth and the light. He said no one comes to him except by the Father. So, we are talking about voices we are suffering today because of voice which voice did our fathers in existence adam have listened to that is one of the problem today we are facing 
because someone listened to the wrong voice and today is affecting a generation someone give an attention to the wrong voice and today a lot of people are suffering hear me i speak over your life and i came as a voice not a noise every power of the enemy limit you are rising today i overcome it in the name of Jesus Christ. and i pray that let there be a shift in the spirit realm let there be a shift in the spirit realm and i command a divine encounter i command a divine visitation in the name of Jesus Christ. if you don't have credit lord make sure you load credit in your phone because that is i'm going to be receiving calls speaking to your life one-on-one whether the devil like it or not you will testify in the name of Jesus Christ. There is no mountain that God cannot put down. There is no challenge He cannot handle. But if you can only have the faith, you will receive. The woman of the Israel said, If I can only but touch the hem of this man's garment, I know I will make hold. Hallelujah. I'm seeing the spirit. There's a man God is saying, is about to give you an answer in your business is about to give an answer in your business is about to give an answer everywhere they tied you everywhere they limit you today i command a shift today i command you coming out jaga pragadash lega broda lagadash gele baragadash meta kubrana e kubra kada lagadash pragada lugash kabradash mendus e kabamba kola and if you look down in the Bible, you discover in Genesis chapter 3 how these poor are being caused because of their evil character. So God let them be caused because they listen to the wrong voice. That's to tell how God is very serious when it comes to who you listen to. Let's look at Genesis chapter 22, verse 18. Genesis 22, verse 18, the Bible says, and in the seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed because thou hast obeyed my voice all nations shall be blessed because what you obey the voice what i'm talking to you now is the voice of god i'm preaching using the voice of god and as you obey the voice of god the bible says you'll be blessed and your generation will also be blessed nothing attracts blessing like right voice Nothing attracts open doors like right voice. Your voice is the voice you need to matter a lot. Hallelujah. I see some after today. There are some people God is calling your life. Why? Because you want to make your voice. You can't become a voice with wrong people. You only end up as a noise. But if you must be a voice your generation, you must understand their connection determines your collection. In Genesis 27 from verse 8 he said now therefore my son obey my voice according to that which i commanded thee go now to the flock and fetch me from thence two good kids of the good and i will make them savour meat for thy father such as he loveth guess what S.A.O. The father asked him to bring a missile and bless him. He delayed to obey the voice. But Jacob, his brother, obeyed faster. And guess what? He had his testimony. So delay obedience can also be end up as a disobedient. Yeah, delay obedience. If not deal or well handled, can become disobedient. My prayer for someone hearing my voice is that you will not delay to obey the voice of God. Satan comes to give Eve the fruit to eat. Deceive Eve and Eve was away and deceive the man. And finally, we lose the place of blessings. And that's why you see the people are laboring head and scatter. That was not the original plan of God. It was because a negative voice came. And there are many of you who are going through the same kind of experience with negative voices. Who is speaking against you? I prophesy. There will be a disconnection in the name of Jesus. Every negative voice against your life, negative voice against your career, against your destiny, 
there will be a disconnection in the name of Jesus Christ. In those days, it was easier to do ministry because there was no internet. So they were, they were every reason to do ministry. But today, people you do ministry, they will criticize you front and back. They will spoke against you. They will raise people who become your enemies. All in order to put you down. But I pray for you, you are untouchable. You are unstoppable. Whoever wants to put you down, I put them down by fire. Anyone that has vowed to limit your destiny, to bring a, a limitation in your career, I command a disconnection in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak over your life. I speak over your destiny. Let there be a shift in the name of Jesus. Every barrier, every limitation, limit you from rising, Shagaba Hadabash. Gebrodo Shagaba Hadabash. There are many of you who are going through serious foundation problem. In Psalms 11, verse 3, the Bible says, If the foundation be destroyed, what can even the righteous do? What is that foundation that is holding you? Today, God has sent me to overcome it. You see a great man crying. As I closed my eyes, I saw a man crying. This is a big man. Crying because things are not working. And the devil is fighting the finance. I saw you having a car. But I was always seeing two cars. Or one of them is a black car. And God said, pray for this man. Because the devil is trying to cripple him to zero. Every powers of the enemy that are fighting against you. Powers of the enemy that are holding you from rising. I speak as a priest, as a prophet. You are coming out in the name of Jesus. You are coming out in the name of Jesus. Every closed door against your life. Closed door against your destiny. I begin to open it right now. In the name of Jesus. Wrong enemies, wrong friends. In order to bring distraction, I have overcome them in the name of Jesus. I pray for you, you will not be distracted. You will not be distracted in the name of Jesus. I speak over your life and your family. I saw a woman crying with a boy and a girl. Crying because of the man, a boy, a young boy and a young girl. But God tell me to tell you, don't bother because weeping may enjoy for the night, but joy comes in the morning. God says it's about to wipe away your tears. Kala Baradash, Membro Kola, the Banda Legacy, Bate Kola Braga Dalagai, Epa Koja Kaba Eka de Brogoda Jigala Bragadash, Mende Kro Jagala Brada, Rekobola Jaba de Brigadish. I silence every negative voice in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, my numbers are open. You can give a call, you can send an SMS. Or you write me on WhatsApp or you text me, any of them, okay? Give a call. We don't have credit, you can flash me anyhow. If you don't have anything, you can flash me and I'll call you back. I don't want to pray with you. All I'm here is to pray with you. And indeed, God will begin to give you testimonies. Shaga Baradash. Barakada Zose. Kelebro Galagadash. Kelebroda. Zangra Kobele Gadash. Ibrakatala. Sesevila. Baradash. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Now we're going to take on this short break. And when we come back, we're going to be repeating your calls and your texts. Don't switch. Tell someone to tell someone to sit at the TV, uh, inside the TV and watch the program. Because it's, it's mind-blowing. It's going to be transforming. You enjoy it. Let's take on this short break. Thank you very much.